Today I'm going to be doing a setup guide of Predator.Systems, which is basically a brand new CS2 cheat that we are now selling on RecoveryKings.net. With that being said, if you guys do want to purchase Predator, head over to the link down below. All you guys have to do is add this to your cart. You guys can hit view cart up here and your coupon code should come off automatically to bring your total down 5%. So you guys can purchase Predator for one month for just under $6. Uh, with that being said, now that you guys have purchased it, I am going to show you guys how to actually redeem your license key. Once you guys do purchase from us, all you guys have to do is go to predator.systems, which is their website, and then you guys have to hit register up here. You guys basically have to put in a username, an email, and a password, and all you guys have to do is create an account, and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, once you guys do complete your account and you do uh, activate your email, it's going to send you a link. Uh, it's going to say, you know, verify your account or whatever. Uh, you're going to see this. It's going to say, thank you for registering. Your registration is now complete. Uh, with that being said, all you guys have to do is go to products up here. Uh, once you guys get to this page, all you guys have to do is paste your activation key here, your license key that you will receive in your email once you guys purchase from us. Uh, it's going to be pretty clear that it's your license key. Uh, I'll actually show you guys what mine looks like so you guys can see what it should look like in here. Alrighty guys, once you guys paste your key in here, it should look something like this. Also, don't use my key. It's half cut off and it will not work because I'm using it. All you guys have to hit is a little check mark here. And as you guys can see, it says key activated up at the top. And it is really that easy. Now you guys can go over to your panel here and basically download your loader. Uh, but before you guys download that loader, I'm going to show you guys how to turn off Windows Defender so it does not flag when you guys try to download it. Alrighty guys, all you guys have to do is open up Windows Security if Windows Security is your antivirus. Uh, if you guys don't have Windows Security and you have something else, uh, just look up how to turn that off or how to make an exclusion for the file once you guys download it. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to turn off real-time protection on Windows Security because that is the easiest to do. Hit Manage Settings once you guys uh, go to Virus and Threat here. Once again, Virus and Threat. Uh, manage Settings here and just turn off real-time protection for now. Uh, you guys can turn it on after if you guys make an exclusion so for the sake of this video we're just going to download the loader now once windows security is off i'm going to hit download here and i'm going to hit save and as you guys can see it should say download complete if it says virus detected or something make sure you guys have your antivirus turned off uh for the sake of this i'm going to show you guys what you guys can do now so if you guys want to make an exclusion you're just going to hit add or remove an exclusion hit yes on this pop-up you guys are going to hit add an exclusion you're going to hit a file up here and then you guys can select the file which you just downloaded hit open and then you guys can come back over here if you guys want to and turn real-time protection back on if you guys want to be more safe honestly it doesn't matter either way it's personal preference for you guys uh to choose with that being said i'm going to double click the loader i'm going to hit more information here and i'm going to hit run anyway uh and then you guys are just going to wait for this to load if you guys see a little security thing down here uh, you guys should be able to see this you just click yes and then the loader should open up for you any second now once you guys do get into your loader successfully you're just going to hit load here and basically what it's going to do is it's going to open up steam and it's going to inject for you as you guys can see it gives you a little uh, visual here to see you know how complete you are in the process so just to be clear don't have cs2 open all you're going to do is open up the loader and you're just going to hit load and it's basically going to do everything for you. Now I do have multiple Steam accounts, so I'm just going to select this one, for example. All right, guys, once you get to this step, it says waiting for game. So you guys might have to launch it manually. So I'm just going to hit play here. Uh, I'm going to do the version uh, Counter-Strike 2, obviously not Legacy. And I'm going to minimize this for the time being and I'm going to close this. And as you guys can see, it just says waiting for game. So once that game does open, it should inject for you any second. As you guys can see, it says software loading. As you guys can see, it says software loaded and the status is done. You now that you just load up into the game and you press insert on your keyboard. And as you guys can see, this is the menu and this is everything working for you. You got your aimbot option here, as you guys can see. Global group or per weapon basis. Uh, trigger bot as well, as you guys can see. Uh, you do have your filters there. Uh, your ESP preview, as you guys can see. I'm just going to go through this real quick. As you guys can see, inventory stuff here as well. For example, a pistol, eagle, and you guys want to add this skin. Boom, save. Uh, and then there's some more options here like trusted mode, auto accept, your spectator list, key bind list, stuff like that. As you guys can see, you guys can move these around as well. Uh, and then settings. Lastly, you guys can save or create configs. And then settings here, you guys can basically unload the menu, change how the game looks and whatnot. Uh, but for the sake of this uh, setup guide, that is going to be it. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to have a video uh, actually showcasing predator.systems. I'm going to do a full in-depth so showcase going over every single feature they do offer. Uh, and then uh, we'll get into some gameplay as well. Like I said, for the sake of this setup guide, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.